Hi, welcome back to Genuine Corner. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have designed and implemented the Mature Design Login Screen. So, what I'm going to do in this video is in this video, I'm going to start migrating this normal looking UI into this material design UI. This is our main screen. So, this is my target. And this is my current design so in the upcoming videos starting from this video I will be changing component by component to get a, to get this look and we'll be working on this UI to make this thing much better so first thing that what I'm going to change is I'm going to change this book issue renew submission this is definitely a tab pane so here I have used JPhoenix libraries JFX tab pane option so uh, using jfx tab pane option we can get this beautiful look so let's do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to our library assistant section then here in save source packages we have ui main then we have main.fxml file so regarding the css styling uh, i won't be using these separate css files as i have said in the 30th video because separate CSS I am going to remove. I am going to focus on a single CSS file. The advantage is suppose you are a guy who don't like dark themes and you want uh, light themes, so you can just create a light theme.css here and uh, you can attach that to our FXML files, which will help you to change your entire UI design with changing just one file. So I hope you got the point. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to load this dark theme.css and here I'll be changing. From here, I'm going to write the CSS for main screen. So I'm going to give main screen CSS styling starts here. Then from here, we will do it. So uh, coming back to our FXM file, so this is the one that we have to change. There's a lot of changes to make. So first of all, I'm going to cut these two entries. Control X to remove them. Then I don't need this tab pane anymore. So checking the code, the tab pane doesn't have an FX ID. So that would be a problem. So I'm going to remove this delete. Then what I'm going to add is uh, searching with the JFX, I have a JFX tab in thanks to JPhoenix. So uh, insert center. So it, uh, we have a tab pane here, and here I am going to use this paste into option. So our previous two tabs copied here. So within uh, like uh, 20 seconds or something, we have added this material design tab pane. Now what we have to do is we have to style this. We have to style this to look like this okay all right it is just css guys let's do it so coming to the css section i am going to give one more command tab paint styling so tab paint styling so first thing that i am going to do is to set preferred width because uh, i'm sorry uh, that's a screen record program now the problem is this is different sizes i mean as you can see i need a little bit more larger and wider so if you guys ask me one point about material design or one point for making greater ui my point is always keep give enough spaces just like think these components as living entities and give them space for breathing like i mean uh, whenever you look at the ui if it feels good then there will be enough spacing so they never do congestions they always give us spacing so what I that is what I'm going to do here I'm going to increase the spacing for these tabs so uh, coming here I'm going to define a CSS for dot tab this is not exclusive to JPhoenix this is just normal Java FX tab CSS so dot tab here I'm going to set FX preferred width and I am going to set that width to 350 for now. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's not equal. Call. Then here, one more entry. Minus FX preferred height. I am going to set the preferred height to something like uh, 60. Now let's come to this section and uh, 
here I have stack pane. Let us take the JFX tab pane. Now we have tab, tab. So we have to add our style sheet. So the problem is we haven't added our newly added style sheet here. So coming to the source section, resources, everything is same CSS file, so dark pane.css. So as you can see, that size is now in this book issue renew submission. And as you can see, the background is got a little bit of black. I mean, that's our primary color because we set the root background color to that. So that's why it is black. Uh, I know this is looking ugly, but it will look better with time. So give it some time. So we have book issue and uh, renew submission. We have to change this color from blue to our primary color. So we have to do that. For that, I am going to the CSS section, and here I am going to give FX background color. So minus FX background color, and the background color should be our primary color. So FX primary. Now coming back here, we can see that these two things are black, black but this guy is still blue. We have to change it, right? Yes. So for that, we just have to style one more class, which is tab header background. So dot tab header background background. And here also, what I'm going to give is I'm going to give the same exact entry dot uh, I mean fx background color to fx primary. So <clears throat> let's come back here, and as you can see, we got these things as black. Book issue, print, and renew submission is now black. Don't consider about this. We will be moving that to our JFX drawer in a moment, uh, in next videos. So one more thing that I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to style this menu. I mean, we don't need this look. We need our own menu. Let us start styling our menu to our uh, new theme. So here I'm going to give another entry menu bar styling. So first thing first, we have to style the menu bar. So the class is definitely dot menu bar, easy to remember. Here I'm going to set the base color fx base. So everything in say that will be changing depending upon the base entry. So minus fx base, then we have fx primary. So the base color is of course, it's always our primary fx primary. Then I am going to say the background color. So it will, I will show you the effect with just one line of CSS entry. If you come back here, you can see that we are getting a very nice entry here. Uh, I changed something. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, edit. Redo. Yeah. If you come, uh, look at this, we call this, but this is not flat and I don't like not flat interfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more entry, FX background color. And here I'm setting that to FX primary. So after setting the base to primary and FX background color to primary, it will be flat. As you can see, it is now flat. The problem is with this color. I mean, since we set the FX background color, FX base to our primary color, everything in save that component will adjust with that color. That's the power of Java FX. So oh, this is changing, but this is not exactly what I want. I want some uh, customization for this also. So I'm going to do that right now. So for changing that, we we can use context menu. I mean, these are context menu entries. So using dot context menu class, we can scale that. So dot context menu. In say context menu, we can give FX background color, FX background color. And if I give the primary color, there is one issue, I will show you that. So if I give FX primary color, there, then everything looks ugly. I mean, I can't see this uh, pain with, from this pain. I mean, I can view a separation between them. So I need to change this color a little bit, a bit different. So I can do that by creating another variable here, by creating another color, or I can derive a color from the existing color. That's a pretty nice option because we don't have to give explicit color constants for different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this FX, change this FX primary 
using derive method and inside derive give fx primary first fx primary then change this to 20% so I'm giving this 20% data and will show you the effect so what is happening is it will become 20 percentage lighter yeah? see like so it is add add book add member I will show you the extremes first so if I set this to minus 100 percent then uh, let me control P then it is pure black if uh, I mean it is minus 100 if it is plus 100 you don't have to specify plus that so if I uh, set it to plus 100 then it will be get more lighter so minus it is more darker plus is much more lighter so uh, in my case I need only 20% so changing to 20% let us go to the preview section and I think it is okay for now. Uh, file, add, view book, view members menu. Uh, maybe we should change the <coughs> blue color but it will match with our icon. Our icon color is blue and this header color is blue so that will match I think. For now let us run the program, our library assistant program. Let me first uh, may come into main or I fix and this one is changed. So main controller and let us run and check whether is there any issue. So I am closing these reference and uh, reference programs then let's run it. So we have our login screen and I am going to login. So renew submission there is some error. I think I haven't saved that so error I always made. I am pressed using control s and i'm saving it now let's try it again so gc root then as you can see after saving this part is okay so we got our beautiful jfx tab pane and we got our material header now in the upcoming videos we will move this to that uh, jfx drawer and change this color scheme so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos